Man, this thing is going to look good. All right, boys and girls, welcome back to Rat Rod Bob School of Rat Rodology and Little Shop where dreams come true. So I've been doing a little distress work on the cab, making it look old again, so come check it out. So the first thing I want to do, this uh, sun visor I just painted a couple days ago, put on, built. It's a little bit shinier. I mean, it's, this is a satin finish, both of them. This is a little more shinier than the cab. I'm just going to take the Scotch Sprite before I do what I'm about to do. I'm going to get just the same sheen as the rest of the cab. So I'm going to take the Scotch Sprite and dull this down a little bit like that. Kind of, I like to keep scratches the same direction the wind blowing in, actually. Something like that. This ought to be fun. It's going to be interesting to see what happens. I mean, I don't know. I mean, we've seen the tailgate a few weeks ago. Uh, this is going to be kind of the same. We'll find out, won't we? 
So I got some of the black paint left over that I painted the frame and the other black parts with. This is uh, PPG Performance Coatings, uh, ALK-200. I mean, this is the satin black. This is the same. This is the satin white and red. I'm just going to mix up a little black with a little bit of thinner. I'm not going to put the hardener in it. I don't need the hardener just for what I'm missing what I'm about to do. Already got it stirred up, by the way. And not to mention, if I don't put hardener in it, what I got left over, I can pour back in pour it back in the can. I'm gonna put a good bit of thinner xylene in it, and I want it kind of thin. About that much. So I got this cheap Harbor Freight gun, Central Pneumatic. This is this is one I use on the tailgate. This one works fine, except for it's too little. I mean, it's for little bitty hands. If they would have made this part of it bigger, so it'd be easier to handle, it'd be fine. But I find when I, I accidentally turn this screw, which adjusts the fan, and accidentally turn this, which adjusts the how much air it gets. So yeah, this one. For little bitty hands, I got big hands, and so this one's better. Still a cheap gun, but see, you can. This is for a big hand here. You can grab hold of that, and not be touching everything else. That's gonna be a, probably a lot more paint than I ever need. If I could pour it, like I said, I could pour it back in the can, but ain't no, don't have no hardener in it. It'll still, even without harder, this paint will still get. Hard, it just don't get quite as tough. Uh, in other words, like if you maybe spill a little gas, something on it, and if it don't have hardener, it might not handle that very well, or if it stays out in the sun a long time without no hardener, it'll kind of oxidize, turn a little bit white, it don't do real good without hardener. But for what I'm going to do, I don't need hardener. I got this sheet, white sheet here. Uh, we're going to try some different spray powder and see what all spray powders this gun, cheap gun, is capable of. So I got my white sheet, got my gun, and some black paint in it. Uh, turn the, this is the air pressure adjustment. This is the fan adjustment for a little bit or a lot. This is the amount, a little bit of paint or a lot of paint. Maybe most of you guys already know that. So I got the air always turned down. If I pull the trigger and do a little splatter like that, I don't want that. I need some air. So I start opening the air up a little bit. So if I back up some, I can kind of get just a little bit of mist of black. Uh, I can open the fan up, get more pressure, more more paint, more pressure. Fan wide open, more paint, more pressure. So I get a lot of, I do a lot of things with this one gun. No pressure, a little bit of pressure, turn the paint down. Close the fan. So I can start with that. I just want to get a little bit of black paint in places. I'm going to start with that right there. So first thing I want to say is, I don't have no clue what I'm doing, but we're going to figure it out. I mean, this is a trial and error kind of thing. I mean, so I can find out and you can find out. We can see what's possible, what's not possible. But, uh, and this is going to be, this is not going to be a, like a natural distressed look. This is going to be kind of like a mix between a fantasy look and a natural look. So I'm thinking the, the natural side of it. I mean, just think if this, 
this thing is old, and over the years, they got wind and rain hitting it and everything, and maybe wash it with a rag. And when you do that, all those cracks and crevices deep down are not going to get wiped off with a rag, and they're probably going to be some dark spots in there. So the first thing I want to do is mist some black paint on some of these rough areas. And then I'm going to take some weak, I call it weak, paint that our metal spirits and spray on a rag with a spray bottle. I've got something in the spray bottle right here. And then wipe that black off and it's, that should leave some of that black deep down in those cracks and crevices. And the reason I want to use weak paint thinner is because I don't want it to take the red off. If I use like lack of thinner, it'd probably take the black and the red off. I don't want to do that. I just want to take the the new, I'm going to spray some black, rub right over and see what happens. So, I'm going to get some mineral spirits on the rag before you start. You can always put more. So I got my paint gun adjusted, just spray a little bit of black. And we're just going to do a couple spots, just see what happens. These stitches for one. This front edge. This is metal spirit. So you see, I mean that metal spirit is still wet, but you see, I spray a little bit of black and wipe over it and you see that black is still down deep in those cracks and crevices so that's kind of what I'm shooting for but wait there's more <laughs> we're not done metal spirits wipe it off a little black wipe it off Oops, screw come out. I don't have the screws tight nuts on the back side of these screws. I think that's gonna work. I'm opening the fan up a little bit and kind of fog the whole thing. A little bit. I mean, you can barely, it's just a little bit of mist black there. I'm going to do some more of this. I'm, I'm going to turn the fan on, which is going to blow the paint away from me. I don't have a respirator on, so it's going to be a little noisy. So I'll play some music while I'm doing some of this, then we'll get a closer look at it.
man, it's looking good already. Looking distressed. Look old. It looks old. It is old. <laughs> but you guys know me. I ain't gonna be happy to like rub some silver over somewhere. So I got this rag t piece of t-shirt <laughs> that I was spraying rubbing silver on the chassis like last week. Like, I mean, you know the video a week or so ago. So it's still got a lot of silver paint on it. It's dry. Uh, let's see what happened to rub the dry. Well, it's, hey. It's dry, but it's still coming off, so. Let's see what happens. I don't know, it looks like a rat rod truck cab to me. <laughs> All right, let's work the fine. Uh, go over with thinner rag, but thinner and get some of those streaks out, or maybe if I got too much silver in spots, I can go and adjust that, no problem. Uh, one of the problems I'm having is spraying that black and can't spray with this little spot, and then I have to do it the thinner on the rag because the paint dries too fast. So I got some paint mixed up with, with no thinner in it so it be it won't dry quite as fast. And uh, plus instead of just spraying the thinner on the rag, rubbing it on there, I had to just spray some thinner on the cab. I'm gonna show you right now. All right, let's see, I'm gonna do this spot right here. And here. Right? So let us spray some thinner on the rag. I mean, that, that works a little bit, but it don't work fast enough, so I'm just gonna spray something with a cab like that. It works a lot faster. I get the job done quicker. So you can see that spot. I, I mean, that was quick. I could that, that that way. It won't take forever to do the cab. I mean, this thinner is still wet right there a little bit, but it didn't take no time to do that. So that's why I'm gonna do all of it. I'm gonna do the rest of the cab top of the cab.
I need a under construction sign for this truck, like beware of sharp edges, biohazard, something like that. I don't know, because yeah, it's got sharp edges on it. I mean, you cut yourself real easy if you don't not care for touching this truck. But hey, who cares it's a rat rod? All right, guys, hey, I, I'm on a quest for 50,000 subscribers. Can you help me out? I know a lot of you watchers not subscribed. I mean, I appreciate it. All you gotta do is don't cost you nothing. Just click on that subscribe button. It'll help me out a lot. And a thumbs up too. Hit the thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. I appreciate it. And I also got t-shirts. I don't need the video link to my merch page. I got a lot of t-shirts. I mean, those really help out. You buy a shirt or two. So check them out too. Appreciate it. Man, this thing is gonna look good. So I, I can't actually call this a bare metal look because it's got some bare metal look, but not much like a frame. So I'm calling this a distressed, fantasy distressed look. Because <laughs> uh, it's kind of like uh, a cross between a natural look and fantasy. I mean, it's not real. I mean, you're never going to see this in real life except for a rat rod bob shop. <laughs> hey, but I think it's, I mean, different. I mean, We've got to have diversity, right? And uh, of course, I marched the beat of my own drum. You guys know that. So, uh, hey, but well, you can comment, let me know what you think about it. I mean, talk bad about it, good about it, whatever. I mean, I don't know. Just check out the video. Let me know what you think because uh, it's uh, different. It's something different for sure. But yeah, I, I didn't get. I didn't do the whole truck cab yet. I mean. It's, like 500 degrees out here. <laughs> yeah, it's it's dominated summer here in Southern Mississippi. So yeah, I do a little bit of time, but I've done enough of it so we kind of see what it's going to look like. So there's that. Uh, firewall. I mean, I ain't done with firewall yet. I just kind of done something, but I ain't done yet. So. <laughs> Alright guys, we're getting it. We just ain't got it yet. Appreciate you. See you next time.